Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are making hard apple cider. So I went to my local grocery store and got this Greenwise organic apple juice. It's 100% apple juice. There's nothing, no additives, nothing else mixed in there. So to start with, I took out two cups of the apple juice here and I reserved it on the side and I have cleaned everything with star sand. So as you can see right behind me, it's my little cleaning bucket. I have everything that I need in there and it's getting sanitized. So to start off with, I pulled out two cups out of this gallon. I'm going to add in one cup of organic white sugar. Alright, so I got one cup of white sugar right here. I got Fermax yeast nutrients. I have some yeast energizer. And I'm going to be using this safe cider uh, yeast that I got in a packet here. I'll probably use about half the packet. It's good for five gallons, but I don't really need that much. So I'm just going to use half, half of the uh, package. So let's get started. So, like I said before, I've already sanitized all of my items I'm going to be using right here. This has also been sanitized, so I'm going to add in my sugar. And basically, I'm just adding it. There is sugar in it and the apple juice already from the apples, but I'm just adding in extra sugar for the yeast to turn into alcohol to give it a little bit higher of a content. So there we have it, one cup. I think I'll do one and a half cups actually. So, one and a half cups of sugar. And then we're going to add in our nutrients. So, right here I'm using Firmex yeast nutrient and with this one we're going to use one teaspoon yep. That's it. so I've already cleaned this one teaspoon of the Firmex yeast nutrient next we're going to use the yeast energizer and this one gets a half a teaspoon per gallon when I say the teaspoon is per gallon uh, of whatever you're using you know mead cider whatever you're gonna make so half a teaspoon per gallon of the energizer So now that that's all in there, I'm going to pour back in my remaining apple juice back into the mixture, but I'm going to leave enough room to where we have sufficient space for the carbon dioxide that's going to be taking place here shortly. So that's good. I'm going to give it a nice shake, get all the sugars and nutrients all mixed in. It's like soda and it splashes up. It's doing the same thing. Yeah. It looks like the same thing. Alright, so now we're going to be using our hydrometer and we're going to get an initial reading. Are you sure that's part of it? So, right there's my hydrometer. And I'm just going to pour in some of this apple juice with the sugar mixture. And 
also I have a piece of paper right here, which I'm going to be putting my notes on so I can keep track of everything that I did with this, uh, you know, making this drink. So way, if I like it for next time, I can reuse it. So I'm getting a so many bubbles here. I'm getting about an eighty. Which is ten percent right around ten percent alcohol by volume. Okay. Yeah, it's about an 80. So, since this was all sanitized and all good, I can pour this back in. And now I'm going to add in my yeast. After putting the yeast, I'm going to just monitor it over the next few days, make sure that I can see that it's, the yeast is doing its job. And converting the sugars into alcohol. Sanitized scissors. That's about half right there. Putting in half the bag. Okay, so now that's been all shaken up very nicely, I'm going to add in my airlock on the top now. Oh, thanks, bud. So I got my airlock right here. And now, all right, guys, so we have our cap on there with our uh, air regulator that lets the carbon dioxide out and doesn't let nothing go in. We're going to let it sit in a nice cool dark area and let it do its fermentation probably about a week or two. During that time I'm going to you know go in there and look and make sure that it's still bubbling, still doing its fermentation process and then once I see that it slow down we'll stop and we'll rack it into a different jar and do a taste test, do another hydrometer reading, and we'll go from there. So I'm pretty excited. It's my first time. It's my first time uh, making si apple cider or hard apple cider. So I hope it turns out great. Thanks for coming along with this journey. Once we are done with this, we're going to be trying out a a mead using this wildflower honey that I got. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next episode, which will be us racking this and doing a taste test. See ya.